What's it like for you to, to spend two years making a record? Um, it's crazy because uh, I feel like in hip hop, rap has become a game where it's like everyone talks about it. It's the game. It's a got game. I got swag. Jimmy Swaggered or whatever people want to say. <laughs> and I feel like uh, people once it's like you know in the in Lord of the Rings where the Gollum gets the ring and he doesn't want to give it up. Yeah, yeah. People don't like giving up that number one spot. It's like. I'm selling a lot of records, all the girls like me, my clothes are amazing, and uh, I'm not giving that up, but I feel like a true artist becomes that because because no girls like him, because, you have, because you're riding the bus, because you have no clothes, because you have two pairs of pants, and the girl you really like won't return your phone call. Right. It's why you're an artist and you're trying to, so it's like, I think two years kind of put me back to that person. But it's an, it's <laughs> interesting though, so if that's the venue where, where most hip hop that gets any coverage lives, that's the venue, do you feel like you just don't belong? I mean, I feel that very much, and we talk about this a lot, that comes from me like growing up in Whitby, Ontario, and like outside of the city, and being like the only, one of the only ethnic people at a like, you know, party, and realizing like, you know, I, I can't lie about where I've come from, you know what I mean? I feel like, there's a lot, I think Canadians, most black Canadians and a lot of ethnic Canadians were the first generation of our people living in Canada. Yeah. So for us, it's like, I'm more of the guy who's like, okay, it's cool that I'm from Trinidad and it's cool that New York is an hour and away, but where does, full, where does Neil Young come into my life? Where does Joni Mitchell come into my life? Yeah. And I feel like a lot of black people deny that. They're like, we're this and we're that, but at the same time, it's like, you need to actually accept Neil Young into your life. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, and you will find that, he, that the, if you go in and you, you delve into his music, that it is a gospel, as much as Al Green is and as much as everyone else is. But as, as history has shown, you know, and maybe it's why white people run the world, they're very quick at, like, black music's amazing. Let's take it and make it our own. You know, and they flip it all the time. It's like they flip, they flip the script. But, you know, black people aren't the best at taking other musics and making their own. Maybe through sampling and hip hop, but I find like, I always say black people need to get in touch with their inner white person. Well, <laughs> well this is something that, you know. Obama we... did it and he's president. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, well, look, technically, Obama's inner white person is his mother. It's half of it. Right, I know. <laughs> well, that was a joke, yeah. <laughs>